Hello, my name is Aroa. I'm a student from uh, the High School of E.S. Luis García Berlanga, and I was a student that went to uh, Ireland for uh, the project of long stay mobility for a month to practice my English. We are doing this video uh, to tell us about my experience and to help to other students that are going to go there to know uh, more about the country and the, the long stay mobility. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to give you some tips about the documentation you have to bring to Ireland. The most important are uh, your uh, European Healthy uh, System card, your uh, ID and your passport. And secondly, um, all the documents related with the Erasmus project that, uh, that are like um, your learning agreement. There are some documents that um, give you some information about what are you going to learn in your mobility uh, and your timetable and all the classes you are going to have and things like that. The next thing I'm going to talk about is that you have to be uh, prepared emotionally uh, because you're going to be uh, for a long uh, time um, far away from your family uh, and friends. And you don't have to be um, like uh, so scared because you know uh, your family is going to be there and you are going to have uh, some down moments but um, the people that are, are, you're going to um, meet in Ireland and also your family from Spain are going to help you um, to pass that time uh, that you feel alone or down. Also, uh, your teachers from Spain, uh, the Erasmus Coordinate and also the teachers uh, in Ireland uh, are going to be there to help you uh, in every single moment you need it. Uh, okay, the next thing uh, you have to know is that you don't have to be so good at English or the best with the, uh, with the language because you're going to be there to learn English and uh, to learn how to speak, to listen and to understand what they are going to say you and what are you going to say. And um, my, my best recommendation is to leave it and just practice and, and if you don't know something to ask what it does it mean and just uh, leave it. The next thing you have to know is you're going to be in a very different country uh, that you're not from there. Uh, and you're going to have uh, many different costumes uh, related to that country that you're not going to know uh, at, the f at the beginning of the um, stay. And you're, you have to uh, adapt because um, maybe for, for your family is also a, a new experience to have a, an, an a Spanish student from another country in their house. They are going to help you in everything you, you want and in everything you need, but you have to also uh, respect uh, their timetables, uh, their preference, their habits. Shocking the culture and uh, bring your mind open and try uh, new things because you're going to be there just uh, one month and you have to experiment everything you can. Uh, you have to try new things but also you have to let them know about your traditions, your hobbies, uh, your costumes 
Uh, for example, you can cook them some uh, typical um, dishes here from Spain, like tortilla de patata, uh, paella, or something more um, elaborated, um, like gazpachos, almorejo, or things like that. Just let them know uh, some typical dishes here in Spain, or some. Also, you have to learn to be uh, assertive. So if you want something or you don't want something, you have to tell uh, your family about it. Because, for example, if you don't want to eat something you don't like, you don't have to uh, just because you don't want to tell them uh, about it. Or if you want to do something, for example, uh, go to a place uh, or hang out with your friends, you have to tell to your family because you're going to be there uh, for a month and you have to um, make an effort to create a confidence between you and your family. This experience is uh, totally worth it. You have to enjoy every single moment and uh, take part in your time. You're going to improve uh, your oral skills uh, and also you're going to meet uh, new friends, your family uh, and new people there. You're going to learn about their culture uh, and also learn about how to be uh, far away from your family and friends. To get out, uh, out of your uh, comfort zone uh, and I recommend this experience a, a lot because I think uh, it's a present to uh, go there to uh, experience that uh, and also um, what you're going to most improve and what you're going to most uh, love and learn is uh, more about the, the English uh, uh, oral skills uh, and another uh, different country you're going to visit.